everyone, Drew here back, ASAP's 2018. This time I'm joined by Dr. Miller. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Drew. Beverly Thank Hills, you. right? Yes, cool. Correct. So Correct. how's the show going so far? It's going really well. We've Great. been seeing a lot of new technologies, um, new techniques, Yeah. some pretty exciting new advances in plastic surgery. Yes, it seems great. like it's always, the, it's growing so fast. Yeah, oh it is. Talk Emerging. to me about some of those techniques and technologies. Um, this morning I went to several on uh, body lifting, okay. uh, just different techniques for uh, ultrasound assisted liposuction. Okay. Tummy tucks, body lifts, everything in that arena. So we're talking more, not so much innovating different types of procedures, but innovating the ones you've always done and trying to make them better type stuff? Absolutely. Okay. Just new advances, uh, sort of better ways to do things, just yeah. ways that we're learning along the way. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So I've been hearing a lot that there's more international people coming to this mm -hmm. and speaking. Is there value for you speaking with people, your colleagues that are across the sea, you know, about different yeah. exchanging ideas and techniques? How does that help you? Yeah, it, it really helps. I mean, this meeting in particular, because we're in New York, yeah. so we get a lot of people from Europe who come over. We have totally. a lot of South Americans here. Okay. Uh, so in South America, plastic surgery is very popular, mm -hmm. especially in Brazil. Yeah. So a lot of new technologies coming out of there and people okay. talking about implants and new techniques and everything. Great. So did you get a chance to walk around the marketplace here? Oh yeah, yeah. Any, anything you saw piqued your interest that you're thinking about maybe bringing back to your practice for your patients? Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at just general instruments, of course. Okay. I always am, always yeah. shopping for new tools and things like that. Yeah. I would say imaging is a really hot area. Okay. Uh, Crystalix has some amazing software that I'm very interested in. Is Crystalix the one that does like the 3D imaging stuff? Or it's yes. like, yeah, or like yes. the augmented reality? Yes. Okay, yes. So they that. have augmented reality, they have um, really cool morphing software where, okay. to where you can sort of show patients, you know, anticipated results. So you, so you can bring, a patient comes in for a consultation, you can let them use this software and they can actually see like maybe what their breast augmentation may look like before. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty I love cool. It. You actually put on the, the um, Oculus headset. Okay. And uh, if you're looking at breasts, you will you can look across a virtual room, can, see the breasts getting larger and larger. Yeah. And then when you look down on yourself, you can see if you were actually the patient. <laughs> so Fascinating. Fascinating. Cool. I love it. I can't wait to see how more of that type of more traditional tech comes in and, yes. and helps that whole consultation process and patient education. That's beautiful. Awesome. Was, it, was there any favorite sessions that stood out that you attended? For me, uh, in Beverly Hills, 20 years I've been there, what I do mainly is face and neck. Okay. So uh, during the first day sessions, a yeah. lot about that and just different ways that people are doing things. So I love that. It's obviously an interest area for me. Cool, cool. So tell me about yeah. your practice then in Beverly Hills. Yeah, my practice, uh, 20 years in practice in Beverly Hills, uh, right on Bedford Drive. Okay. Uh, my practice has sort of evolved into a lot about the face and neck. So I do a lot of noses, a lot of eyes, a lot Ju of necks. Just, or are you just, is that your... And I do body contouring as well. Um, I don't do breast anymore, just okay. because, you know, the face is the place I like to be. So sure. So it's, it's sort of, well, it's well, what I do. Yeah, well the face is what everybody sees. You can't hide the face, right? No, you can. You can. <laughs> you gotta be right. It's right, right, right. A lot of intensity with yeah. the face, for sure. Cool. Yeah. Uh, um, what, what else about your practice? So uh, yeah, approaches. So I'm, I'm, an, I'm an inventor, and okay. uh, about 10 years ago, I invented a technique that allows us to sew the neck muscles without incisions. You're so, kidding me. Tell no, me about so that. I, I invented the surgical approach as well as an instrument system, and the instrument system is called ICLED and it uses LED light. So imagine a sewing needle that's illuminated mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. a thread attached to it, and you can just pass it underneath the skin so you don't have to surgically open the neck. Wow, fascinating. Yes. How does one innovate that? <laughs> how, I mean, how, what do you, you oh, know? <laughs> it was year, I mean, years of thinking about started it. Started as an idea. Came as an idea in my head because when I started out in my practice 20 years ago, I thought, geez, you know, if there was a way I could sew the neck muscles without having to take everything apart to see what I was doing, that would be great. And Win-win win for evolved. everybody, yeah. Yeah, and so it, it just over years of, of research and thinking and yeah. so on, and I hired an engineer, and that engineer helped me design the instruments. And Beautiful. started a company and went through the FDA. And Beautiful. It works. Sweet, I love yeah. it. So is it widely adopted now? It's not widely adopted. When we launched the uh, instrument system in 2009, that was a recession. Okay. So we had a slow uptake. So we're just getting ready now to to uh, embark on another launch. Cool, so I love it. Excited. Well, good, good luck with that. Thank you. Uh, last question. So yes. you had mentioned you've been in practice for 20 years, you yes. said? Yes. Okay. How long have you been coming here for? I've been coming to, oh, ASAPs. I've been coming ever since From I've been the, in practice. 20 okay. years. 20 how, years, how, yes. How has your experience changed then versus now? Yes. Like, what are you looking for now? Wow. First then. That's a good question. I mean, when I went into practice 20 years ago, when I came to these meetings, it was all about surgery. It's yeah. Like, what is this new approach? You know, what's a better way to do a tummy tuck or a facelift? Now it's 
industry has new technology, and that's in the form of lasers, radio frequency, injectables, neurotoxins, you name it. Yeah, what did this marketplace even look like 20 years ago? I mean, yeah. without the technology, like what was even here? It wasn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like just, just the instruments? It wasn't the stone age, yeah. but it was close. Well, was I know close. that, but. No, no, you're absolutely, no, yeah. you hit it right on. I mean, now it's just, with the razzle dazzle of the new technology, yeah. this is a pretty big show. Cool. And you know, there just weren't these big giants like Allergan and yeah. Burst and so on. So yeah. it's, it's grown, it's, it's a big deal. Exciting times. Yeah. yeah. Cool, well thanks cool. for joining us, I hey, appreciate thank it. You.